Oh my goodness, hi, come on in, come on in. Dogs and all, yeah, very happy to see you here. Oh, please, how sweet of you to drop by. Thank you so very, very much. What a nice surprise to have you here, together with my blooms. Look, thank you so much for coming here. I really appreciate it so very much. I had a day today that I was thinking, oh, you know, it would be nice to have some company. It's been somewhat of a busy week, but busy in a good way. Things got done. And today I feel like, oh, well, um, right. What's going on? And here you are. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I was going to just go around and look at all my blooms and just for a moment appreciate what is going on in my patio and in my dining room. And this is Epidendrum ciliaro variety or steady eye, still in bloom. I am losing some blooms, but yeah, looking gorgeous still. Yeah, we're on the east side right now. This is sort of my centerpiece for my patio table. And once we have lunch, that will be the one that we will be looking at. But I want to work up an appetite together with you first and show you my beautiful Dendrobium soraula, just constantly in bloom. And that is Ciliano in the background and gate noises and all that fun stuff going on, which on a Saturday isn't normal, but it's August and everybody is here. But no, anyway, besides all that, Dendrobium soraula just keeps on giving. I know, right? This is my blooming alley. <laughs> Can you believe it? You're here with me right now in my blooming alley. That is so cool. And this is what it looks like when you're here with me. And we can have a look-see at all the blooms that are currently still around. This is Tabasco Tex. Yes, she's going over. But she was very, very nice for a very, very long time. And down here I have Leodoro Sweet Memory also looking absolutely gorgeous still this one is going over but yeah can you smell it it's good huh we've got a lot of fragrances going on also thanks to this cute little basket here of vanda rainbow forest look at this spikes look at all this it's mayhem in that basket i know right how cool <laughs> i think it's awesome I am so glad that you're able to come just for a quick look around, say hi, having your beverage and everything, but yeah. So that's Vanda. Oh, wait, wait, what else did you see? Oh, I know, right? <laughs> How about this then? Oh, trying to get you into better light. So I'll scoot back so that you can see better. I think maybe, I don't know. I know it's sunny, isn't it? Yeah, but the sun, the angle of the sun is changing. So, you know, right now we've got more sun coming into the blooming alley than we did two weeks ago. This is Catlianthe Zagarik Wax African Beauty. Ah, you remember her from the Care Collab? Oh, <laughs> you watched? How cute. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. Yeah, but here she is in real life. I'm going to try and be a little bit less vivacious let's just say oh and you remember this one as well yeah this is the Catlia Durigan Crucero do Sul you also saw that care collab oh <laughs> you've been busy watching my care collabs huh okay <laughs> I appreciate that so much thank you yeah right now she smells amazing isn't it stronger than what I told you in the care collab right yeah yeah, she's more like a very strong rose fragrance now. Yeah, I guess I filmed too soon to get those blooms onto the Care Collab and her fragrance was still rather faint. Now it's obvious now, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> I know, with the Leodora Sweet Memory in the background. Incredible, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> it's hard to describe, but it's nice that you're here that you can actually experience it. But I am sorry about the angle of the sun a little bit. It looks all very, very dark. Oh, you agree with Michael McCarthy about the fragrance of the old rose, but cinnamon on the Zagary wax. Interesting, interesting. Because I still get port wine. Really interesting. So there's the old rose with cinnamon 
fragrance being detected here as well. You see how our noses differ. Oh well, okay, um, <laughs> you mean to say you saw this care collab as well of Dendrobium Hibiki? Should I take all of these out into the sun or are you okay with seeing them as they are? It's better in real life, isn't it? It is better in real life, I agree. Let me just make sure that there we go. Look at that. Just a sea of gorgeousness. So have you decided to get a Dendrobium Hibiki yet? For the Care Collab? Are you still looking? Okay. Well, you see, mine actually doesn't have any keikis on this year. So otherwise, let me tell you something. I'll put you as first dibs on any keikis that might come from this orchid. How about that? And this, oh yeah, this is Gold Coast. It's a Tolumnium. Really cool. Just open. Splash of color there. She's cute, huh? She's okay with the size of the blooms. No aphids, right? Yeah, I know. This time, no aphids. Woohoo! And oh yes, you saw it. Look, <laughs> there's a spike in the back there as well. This is the first time that she would bloom with two spikes. Yeah, I know. It's better in real life. I get it. I understand. <laughs> and I'm so glad you're here. Can't believe it. Can't believe you came for a visit. Oh yes, Matulnia. Here she is. You see, she's okay. She's hanging in there from the repot. Oh, you haven't seen that video yet. Oh, okay. Well, I'll put a card up so that you can easily find it once we finish recording this video. But yeah, she's tucked back in there and everybody is blocking her view. Basically, I don't want her in direct sun. That's why she's tucked in a little bit further back. But you can still see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you. Let's pull her forward. Check this out. Now you can see it. Yeah, it's better to bring her forward. Roots in the pot going down. Amazing. Well, this video only aired, I think, what, two weeks ago? So, yeah. Go and have a checkup. Have yourself a look-see as to how that repot went. Awesome. But wait, hang on a second. I don't know how to do this. Ah, you can see it up there already. Okay. Let's get up there. This is a panorica up here. I'm not going to get her down because of the size of her spikes. I only just flushed her this morning. So yeah, I'm just protecting these spikes here. But I got her as Ionocentra. And of course, it could possibly be that she's completely mislabeled, but that pink lip. Yeah, I wanted the Yono Center because it has green sepals and petals with that same color lip, but oh well. We'll figure out what this one is. Right now, I just think she is beautiful. How many blooms? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. After getting cross-eyed, I don't know. Do you do you count twelve? <laughs> two, two sets of eyes see more. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you found it. <laughs> yeah. Neostylus lucneri. Also with a little bit of backlight. It's a gorgeous day today, though. Yeah, you were, you, you, what, you were just in the area? How sweet. How sweet. So kind of you just to stop by, take some time and check out my orchids for real, for real. All the blooms in one day. Summer bloomers. Ah, yes, of course. Let's get back to the summer bloomers. There we go. ATC Kaukichakut. I, you're surprised they're holding on so long. Yeah, so am I actually. So am I. And you can smell these too. Yeah, they're really, really intense now, aren't they? Bubblegum next to Speciosa crossed with Violacea. Also with bubblegum. So there's a lot of bubblegum going on over here. Stunning, hey? And much yellower. Yeah, you're right. They are much, much yellower. <laughs> you 
like the fuzzy lip? <laughs> well, if you touch it, you can feel the fuzz as well. It's so cute. Oh, <laughs> I know we have to look up, we have to look down, we have to look everywhere to see the blooms, you're right. Oh, this is the Popcorn Haruri. Yeah, another care collab was already done with this one. And the second spike we still have as yet to get some blooms out of that, but it's doing okay. It's not frazzling in the heat. Isn't that cute? Adorable, adorable blooms. This plant looks bushier than it did on camera. Yeah, I can I can understand that. It doesn't have the same impact on camera, does it? No, 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 I get it. But the blooms come across well on camera, don't they? Right? Yeah, I thought as much. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> You're right. How about that? You agree with me on that one, huh? With that grin on her face. Almost, almost there with the second bud. Just make sure that we don't cultivate any mealy bugs here. Yep, you saw it, didn't you? Look at that. We got to get in there very, very quickly. I did actually do an alcohol treatment this morning. Can you believe it? We got to get back in there. Now, they may be dead. They may not be. But assuming is not knowing. So paintbrush straight away. Okay, if you want to get it, that's great. I appreciate it. We'll take care of that right now. Still around, right? Still around. Papilionantha has long since faded. And Van der Chau Praia was already in bloom long before Papilionanthe Teres variety and Sonii bloomed. Then they bloomed together. Yeah, you saw that? Wasn't that beautiful, that color combination? And here it is now, it's still in bloom. Can you smell that? That sugary blueberry candy kind of fragrance? Isn't it amazing? I'm thinking every day now it's got to be the end. Nope, she's still here. Sure, we can go inside, absolutely, yes. Hey. Surprise! My first Antonatum blooms. Yeah, I suppose she could live outside, but I have her here. She's new. Um, I only potted her up into lava rock. She is not stable in the pot. And that's why she is still indoors. But look at that. Hey, hey, hey. And more spikes to come. They don't look like they're going to be frazzled. Isn't that the cutest? Yeah, you're surprised about the size of the blooms as well. Mm -hmm. Not just me then, not just me, I hear you. I was too. When you see them in pictures, they look much, much bigger, right? No, they're not fragrant. What you're smelling right now is my little Aurora 2.0. This is what you're smelling right now. The Antonatum isn't fragrant. Isn't that cute though? Also been in bloom for ages. Oh, you wanna see the other Aurora? Okay, let's go and check out the other Aurora, the one we just transitioned. Yeah, okay, let's have a look. She's a little bit more in the light here by the glass. I want her to really get a lot of light. There's no direct sun here yet. The angle isn't that low in the sky just yet, but so there's the second leaf coming. This is the leaf that was growing while we transitioned her. And she seems to be a reluctant root producer, but ta-da! We've got a root nubbin going right there. I know, isn't that cool? She's gonna be all right. Yep, they treated her with ice. They did. So who would wanna put their feet out and get ice cold feet? And that's why she was probably reluctant to even get new roots started. But I think she knows now that's not gonna happen to her anymore. And she's tentatively coming out with some new roots. A bit shy, but we'll get over that quickly. <laughs> oh, you saw it. Okay, <laughs> all right. I know. Let's go and have a look. See. You saw. <laughs> yeah, I know. The elephant in the room, right? Isn't that amazing? A zygopetalum spike in the middle of August. 
What did you say? Oh, it's the end of August already. <gasps> the end of August. Wow. There goes the summer. There goes the summer. Sorry, I keep bashing you. I know we're bumping into each other here. <laughs> I know it's a tight squeeze. It is a tight squeeze. I get it. Are you welcome to stay here and keep looking at her? I have no problems with that. Say what? That's the fourth bloom. And of course there's an ant on it. Now you see it for yourself. And you see that other bloom coming right behind it? Yeah, I've never had two blooms on a spike at once. So the fourth bloom is looking super fresh, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. By tomorrow, that'll probably have plopped to the floor because the next bloom, the fifth one, is already peeking out from under its sheath. I've always wondered if I would get two blooms on one spike, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe they will just overlap, just barely. I know, isn't that cool? I love it. Even that dusty room fragrance doesn't put me off. No, you're right. It's not obvious. You, re you really have to stick your nose in it. It's true. It doesn't put me off. She's gorgeous. She is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful structure. Look at them guarding the door. <laughs> they don't want you to go. They don't want you to go. King and Baloo. All right, there we go. We've cleared the door. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. Really, really appreciate that you came and had a look-see at my blooms on my patio. Oh yeah, margaritas coming soon. Nope, they weren't ripe for today. You'll have to come. Maybe if you come back in a week or two, maybe then. I'll pick some of these and we'll get ourselves some margaritas going, huh? How about that? <laughs> Appreciate your company. Thank you so very, very much. Yeah, I got to get the dogs in. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. Feel free to come back any, any time. Take care. I got to get the dogs. Bye. <laughs>